and in some cultures if you're going to see your in-laws hmm, you better cover that hair okay ladies they use your stuff where people tend to hide their hair why I don't know Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Caroline for Calicious Loves. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, watch to the end and don't forget to subscribe uh, the button here below. Or you can just do it right now. So we are in the month of May. I am doing my African series. I have done a video on how to use an African rubber, how to fashionably style an African rubber. And today I'm going to be showing you a few ways on how to tie a head wrap. Some of you just want to jump straight to the tutorial, that's fine. I'm going to put a timestamp in the description below on which minute you should jump straight to <laughs> to watch the tutorial. But I believe in learning something new every single time. So before we get into the head wrap tutorial, fact number one. Head wraps originate from Sub-Saharan Africa. In Malawi, where I'm from, it's called Duku. In Nigeria, it's called Gele. Where you're from, it's called probably something else beautiful. And same thing, different name. So let's go with the head wraps. Head wraps have cultural spiritual significance. Sometimes in some cultures, it's a way of showing respect. It's worn during bereavement. It's a way of showing modesty. And in some cultures, if you're going to see your in-laws, hmm, you better cover that hair, okay ladies? But in this video, we are going to be talking about the head wraps in the sense of fashion or maybe the bad hair day they use your stuff where people tend to hide their hair why i don't know but we all have one of those days where you just go like nah i'm not having it and i totally agree i'm usually in that situation most of the time unfortunately and historically in the u.s black women slaves were forced to wear head wraps to cover their hair i guess at the time it was believed that it would make them less attractive hmm. and to distinguish them as slaves the materials that you should use silk is best for your hair to protect your hair that hairline yeah unfortunately it's very flimsy and it can easily come off and it doesn't really hold well but cotton and polyester are the best for head wraps unfortunately they don't do so well in protecting your hair so what i normally do is have a silk base and then do uh, the head wrap with cotton cloth or polyester cloth on top Tip number one for me using head wraps, don't make it too tight girls, your head is going to hurt. For me, I usually uh, tie my head wrap around my ears. So once I've done, I'm done styling it, I take out my ears, that way there's now room to put my finger and it's not putting so much strain on my head. And I know some people like to put things inside uh, the head wraps to make them big, extravagant, great. But if you're going to be in it all day, morning to evening, you might want to reconsider because one, it might make it heavier and sometimes it can get really hot depending on where you are. De depending on the style of the head wrap, um, you may have to use different cloth different type of cloth either cotton or polyester for heat to hold really well or to bring out the style really well so for me i'm going to be using a cotton cloth that's about one meter by half meter and then uh polyester that's one meter by one meter and my african wrapper which is two meters by one meter
this one I think I'm just in the mood of going loco loco so this is the kind of head wrap you do when um, you're cleaning in the house most of us will do that Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Okay guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Let the creativity kick in, okay? You don't necessarily have to tie it exactly as I am. If you tie it in a certain way and then you look the you like the way it looks, go for it. Uh, but this is just to give you more of like a canvas on how to tie your head wraps. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share 
like and if you have not subscribed subscribe here below and let me know what you liked about this video let me know if you wear head wraps and when do you usually wear them do you wear it as part of an outfit when you have butt hair day or when you're cleaning or when you're going to bed okay until next time guys bye